So that's the story of William Penn. And one more thing I want to talk about when it gets here to the the whole monument conundrum. The biggest frustration I have is that history is often told in fragments. Now, that cannot be helped because history, everybody sees history from a particular perspective, from a particular viewpoint, from a particular bias. It's just how it's going to be. What somebody records in a diary was from one particular lens. I understand that. It's the job of historians to provide a complete picture. I am all for Welcome Park giving a complete picture to William Penn and the founding of Pennsylvania. There should be talk about the fact that William Penn was a slaveholder. I did not mention this when I was doing my talk earlier, but he was a slaveholder. He did have slaves on his estate in Pennsylvania. Um, that should be brought up. Sla it's Pennsylvania's history of slavery is so fascinating itself. It's not how people expect. People think Pennsylvanians were all gung-ho abolitionists. They might have been abolitionists in public, but in private... It should be talked about William Penn's relations with the Native Americans and the ramifications this would have on the indigenous population of North America because his sons and relatives that became future proprietors of Pennsylvania did some not so good things. Cough, cough, the walk and purchase. We're going to get to that someday. I know that's going to be an episode of Uncut History or it'll be a video on Readout Productions. Very dirty deal that was done there. But the key is we want a complete picture. I don't like this swinging of the pendulum that seems to happen because there is this fair desire to say, hey, wait, there's all these other voices that have not been talked about in the past. Let's, yeah, let's include them into the conversation. It gives us a more complete picture of what was happening at time period. But often it seems people are in such a rush for new voices that they think they can just dump the old voices into the trash can, which just frustrates me. We want a complete picture. That is the goal of hist historiography, studying of history. If you want to be a historian, you want the complete picture. We like all the colorful components. We like the juicy details that not, don't make the historical figure look all that great in hindsight. But that's what makes it fun to show that, hey, people for all these faults, some people come out for very good things. And also people with all these good uh, traits may do some very dastardly things as well that are big no-nos. So complete picture, not this whole, we're taking out everything relating to William Penn and we're making it something completely different. No, no, you include it all, mix it all together, give the full story. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done virtue signaling on that. <laughs> oh, let's check it on the chat. I've been ranting for a while. Sorry, I probably scared you all. 